Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I'm going to be going over the raid event uh, with two teams for you. One to get you started and for higher level people, and then one for lower level people that has no mythic, no legendary, and does not use Dawnbringer. So let's get started here. Um, uh, I bought it to uh, tier 3. I bought the weapon. It's that ring that um, explodes based on like Glacial Peaks allies or something. Blows up blue, gives them a status effect, and uh, summons. So those are always good. You want to buy up to the weapon when you're doing these events. And that's what I would recommend. At least buying up to the weapon. and Because uh, you might need to use it, and it's good. And you want to buy it. You want to have it so you don't have to wait a whole year for it to come around in the Soul Forge or something crazy. But um, the first team here that I'm using is a uh, Dawnbringer. Um, there's a, this restriction was kind of harsh, like not very many good troops available in the restriction. So I went with Dawnbringer with yellow allies. So I'm using Copycat, Tassarion, and Freya. Freya is the raid troop, so you're going to want to use her, especially later on once Zulgoth is there and he's gaining stats and stuff. Early on you can use something else if you want to, but I would say once uh, Zulgoth gets there and uh, he levels up a little bit, you might want to start using Freya so you can just start uh, one-shotting him. Getting him out of there so he doesn't kill your team. Um... So the concept of this team is I'm using all yellow allies, so my Dawnbringer hits harder. I'm using Nisha Metals, so my Dawnbringer hits harder. I'm using Bard Class. It's a decent yellow class that has a 50% start on it. Um, and then you just get up your Dawnbringer and you cast it. And you uh, one-shot the Zulgoth with the Freya. And uh, you might have to cast Zulgoth twice, or um, Dawnbringer twice, uh, as, as you go. But you got the copycat, you got the Tessarion to get your Dawnbringer back up. Uh, your Freya can help, you know, with maybe a second kill, maybe finishing something off. And, um, yeah, it was, it was good enough. Did you see Tessarion there? He made the whole board blue. Like, I've never used him before, but he's pretty awesome. It's kind of annoying because he takes kind of a little bit too long to get up most of the time. And, and everything's dead before I get him up. And he's the same colors as the uh, raid captain there. But, um... She starts with like 50% mana, she's got enchant, she's got an explode, we're only going to cast her once. So I didn't really find it to be um, a problem to use him, uh, even though he's the same colors as her. Because she's going to get up either way, she's going to kill Zulgoth, and then she's done with her job. Then we're just using the other two middle troops there to get the Dawnbringer up once or twice. So, But yeah, Chatathon this Sunday, uh, be there, I'd really appreciate it, I'd love for the uh, third Chatathon third what is it every other month what is that biannual or bi-monthly it's bi-annual bi-monthly i don't know we do a chatathon every other month and it's coming up here this sunday morning but cracking on for me uh eastern standard time that's way that way we can have enough time to go you know up to like six and a half hours if we if you guys want to it's going to be up to you it's like a subathon first hour is free and then after that, it's like, hey, if you donate a dollar, I'll add time to the clock. If you donate five, I'll add a bunch of time, etc. So check that out Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, this team, man, I would recommend Dawnbringer. Uh, there's probably other stuff you could do. Maybe Orb of Winter. Um, there's probably a weapon that I'm not thinking of that you could use. I kind of had to just do this pretty quickly this morning i got a lot of going on today and i do use Dawnbringer, and it is good early so why not just keep using it and um use the freya to one shot the zulgoth so it was working for me uh but here is the no 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 that means no mythic no legendary no Dawnbringer. so we cannot use Dawnbringer now so we made it even worse on ourselves because now the restriction is even worse because i'm restricting myself with a bad restriction so there wasn't much to work with here I'm um, using Ice Golem, Saga, the new weapon, and Freya. So, uh, the worst, I think Saga there, if you could do, there's just nothing else. She's not very, she was way better last week when you had the uh, medals and she was in the world event. And she could wipe them out in one shot. But here, man, she's just, I don't know. I was kind of, I wish I had something other than Saga there. Um, maybe I should have went with a weapon instead, like a, a better weapon instead of Dawnbringer that so i think 
maybe if you can look a little bit deeper into the weapons for a little bit longer than I did, maybe you could find something a little bit better here. But, um, yeah, Ice Golem is your tank, so he's gonna destroy a, a 3 by 3 block there, or explode a block. Uh, the more blue that you hit, he's going to, um, freeze the enemy. And then Saga does damage based on, like, frozen enemies and blue and, uh... But even though, even if I have all of them frozen, she still isn't, like, killing them in one shot or anything. So, I don't know, though, I was trying to use this idea to for a team, and then it just, she wasn't hitting very hard, even if everything was frozen. Like, right now, everything's frozen. She still only hits, you know, for half their durability there, so you have to cast her twice. Um, but yeah, it's safe, though. This team will work for you. Like, if you don't have any of the Mythics or Legendaries or Dawnbringer or any of the cool weapons that uh, might be the best choice here this week. <clears throat> this team will definitely work for you. Like, the tank is not going to die. Uh, he's also going to freeze the whole enemy team. He gains life when he does his spell. And then Saga's going to do damage to all the enemies. And then the Freya's going to kill the Zul'Goth right away, so you don't have to worry about that. Then the ring there is going to give everybody on your team a positive status effect and blow up a bunch of blue, get Saga ba back up again, and your... Uh, and your Ice Golem, so you can give your Ice Golem even more life, and freeze him again, and cast your Saga again, and your Freya will probably get up, and you can finish something off with Freya, and if you happen to lose a troop, you can summon one in with the, uh, with the ring there, so I think it's really safe, and that's kind of what I'm going for when I do these um, no, no, no teams. I just want to help a person get through the event and do their part for their guild to stay in their guild, get all the rewards. It's not, like... I'm not trying to make, like, the best team out of the troops available here. I'm trying to... I'm restricting myself, getting saying I can't use Legendaries, I can't use Mythics, I can't use Dawnbringer. I'm trying to restrict myself so I can help more people. Then you can mix and match. Like, if you have certain things, you could throw them onto this team here, and maybe you don't have Dawnbringer, but you could throw a more, like, a stronger weapon on here, maybe take off, I don't know, the ring and and saga and put on a stronger weapon and like a uh, mythic or legendary or something but it's just for you to mix and match and give you ideas like here is the team if you have nothing here is the team if you have everything that's the basic concept of these videos and then you you mix and match and you figure out what what worked best for your specific situation but yeah remember chat a thaw on sunday i only got like one more day after this to advertise it so i gotta say it a couple times in this video but yeah, be there early, early, early. Be there or be scared. You scared? But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. I'll answer any of your questions. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good weekend. Peace.